saying goodbye to Voltron. To try and describe what Voltron meant to me as a viewer, it's kind of a difficult one because there was so much in that show that really amazed me. When I first started watching it, I was like, okay, this is about giant space cats. Sure, I'm in. And after watching the first season, I was like, wow, I really am in for a journey. I was just amazed by the characters, the art, the lore, with the world, you know, it actually felt like a universe, and the music as well, by far the most underrated music in an animated series. I still listen to the music because it just gives me chills, honestly it gives me goosebumps, especially with scenes from the show that I can remember in my head, it's like, oh my god, this makes me want to create, the music really gave me a, a wisdom sort of sense, not to get too corny, but it really does inspire me with the music, the flow, the characters, it all works together. Nothing feels out of place. And watching these characters grow and change throughout the series really was an emotional journey. It felt like we were kind of growing with them. You know, with all their personality traits, there's at least one of us that relates to the other. But all of them all together is something we should be inspired to when it comes to Hunk with his loving and caring and being bold and always willing to sacrifice himself for his teammates. Pidge, constantly curious and fearless and Shiro's selflessness, and Keith just accepting yourself and being strong and determined, you know, we saw Keith grow from someone that's an outsider, someone who didn't want to be a part of a team, as someone who ended up leading the team towards the end, you know, he became the main paladin leader, and seeing that, it's like, wow. And Lance is one of those characters where, yeah, you know what, sometimes you're allowed to be a goofball, you're allowed to make a few jokes, you know, you're allowed to be the funny one, but also remember to be brave and always look out for your mates and family. Alora was one of the characters that saw those traits in those characters, she saw what they could become, and she was the one who really stirred the ship, you know, without her, there's a few moments in the series where, yeah, we need Alora, without Alora, we're kinda doomed, and, you know, that just shows how important she became to the series, and her overall purpose towards the end of the series. With Alora really caring for life, I feel like her end was kinda satisfying in a way that she had a different purpose in life, she went beyond the realm of the physical reality, she became something else, kind of like a white lion, a little bit. And Karan, um, he was uh, unleash your weird side. I'm just gonna give that to him. Yeah, he was a kind of character that you're allowed to be weird every so often. You're, you're allowed to be different. Now, yes, with any series, it could have ended in all sorts of different ways. And at the end of the day, not everyone's gonna be happy. I have a few nitpicks in, in the final season that I wish were kind of cleared up a little bit differently, which I talked about in my review. But overall, I was satisfied with the series as ended. I was kind of like, yeah, it, it's, a, it's kind of a heavy burden to kind of end a show, especially with this much impact and um, within the community. Um, I've seen a lot of people who just don't like it, and that's all well and good. You're allowed to have your own opinion, but here's me given mine and this is my way of you know really appreciating the show for what it really stood for and you know bringing people together and it's it, it really I don't know, the traits of a characters really meant a lot to me and it really uh, kind of wanted me to be surrounded by people like that you know I wanted to have a friendship group that is like those guys because you know they, they were family they were great mates and you know at the end of the day that's something I want to surround myself with and it's not just the characters it's also the spectacular visuals you know with the animation really really terrific and having these villains as well Zarkon, Hanova, Lotar, you know Sendak, all these memorable villains you know, you know being a part of a series and each season you know it's focused on a particular villain and you know even though it gets really really bad throughout the seasons they're still winning they're still striving out there to save the universe and no matter what evil is out there Voltron's going to stop it. It's not usually like me to kind of get choked up watching a series. I like to feel like I'm kind of contained sometimes. But when it came towards the ending of Voltron, I kind of couldn't hold it. Yeah, it's like, oh, the music is definitely emphasizing there's just a lot more towards the end when we see the line shoot up into the sky with all the characters looking. Um, well, except Laura, she's dead. But we, we do see we do, we do see her you know image at the end, and it was kind of beautiful seeing the lines go off. But overall, Voltron really did mean a lot to me. It really changed my perception on writing and characters, and it, it, it kind of influenced me a lot. And it's it's bizarre. Not a lot of shows do that. I always rewatched the episodes whenever I was feeling miserable or I was sad because it really lifted me up. It really cheered my spirits again. When it came to Keith and Lance's bickerness, when it came to Hunk and his love for food, Pidge is yelling at anyone who is messing up somehow, and Shiro just... Just being a really awesome space dad. And Karan, um, 
Yeah, I'm kind of glad I don't have a guy like Kuran in my life. But he's one of those guys, if I did, I would still love him. And Alora, damn, she was just... She was amazing. Like Lance, that's someone who I want to find in my life. At the end of the day, I'm just really glad that a series like Voltron Legendary Defender came around. It really did teach me a lot. It really made me want to go out there and achieve my best. And hopefully you're on the same journey. And even though we're not all, you know, in a giant space cat, we are all Voltron. We've been a part of this together. So Voltron, it's been truly an honor flying with you. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I know it's kind of difficult to make these kinds of videos, especially with mixed opinions, especially towards the end of Voltron. I really didn't want to talk about the controversy surrounding that though. I already did a video a few months ago, me addressing the fans and giving my take on it. And even though we may have different opinions, we still love the same show. Um, you know, we've been on this journey together. And even though you would have liked to have gone in very different ways, we are fans for a reason, you know, and I don't know, just respect each other in the comments, even if you have very different opinions. We are all Voltron, you know, that was the hashtag that I've been trying to spread and I know everyone else has been doing the same as well. So, yeah guys, just be okay with each other in the comments. Let's kind of reflect back, you know, let's talk about what the show meant to us. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Check out my other videos if you're new to this channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone.